How many of y'all know about baseball? Come on, how many? It's an American sport, come on. Right? So there's an American league and there's a national league. And the reason why I bring that up is because that's the best way I can explain to you what this picture is here. There are two sets of groups of gangs. There are the people nation and the folk nation. And I'm going to be quick about this, but I just want to share with you how you can learn the difference. The people nation deals with the number fives. Five point star, five point crown, five die. Um, it's, it's the fives. Remember a couple of years ago, the kids were cutting their eyebrows, and we thought they were just getting bad haircuts? <laughs> All right. Well, they were actually signifying with the, with the fives and the sixes. They were cutting the, the twos and the threes, or they were cutting the threes and the threes in their eyebrows. And what they were doing was, we didn't know it, but they, was, they were clicking on. They were showing their gang affiliation right in front of us. What's the best way to hide something? Put it right in the open. And that's what these kids are doing. Now, the fives and the sixes are interesting. They use a lot of the symbols that we would ordinarily use, that we promote ordinarily, and they take it and they use it for their gang affiliation. Does that make sense? OK, good. So the five-point star, the bunny rabbit. Now, let me ask you, see that bunny rabbit? What does that remind you of? Playboy. Playboy. Guess why? Because that group that uses that bunny rabbit is into prostitution. So when they put that bunny rabbit in the graffiti, that group is into prostitution. Is that clear? Makes sense, don't it? Yeah. Then let's go to the next one. You got the folk nation. The folks is the sixes. Everything is six. And under the bottom, I put the five popping, six dropping. That could only be written by a people nation group. Five popping means that the five is alive and the six must die. Okay? And the sixes here, if you notice, you got the horns. You see the devil's horns? Well, that worship, those are also devil worshipers and witchcraft and stuff like that. And you got a lot of the groups, what do they call it, gothic? Okay, and stuff like that. You got to watch that stuff too. That stuff is not good. Okay, those are cliques and they're getting involved in some stuff that's really not kosher. Okay, and I don't want to go into that any further than that, but let, let me just say this. If your kids are involved in that stuff, you need to investigate a little bit more. Okay, the bunny rabbit with the bent ear. Okay, you know what that's for? Anybody? No, 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 no. The bunny rabbit with the with the with the bow tie. bow tie was for prostitution. The bunny rabbit with the bent ear is for drugs. That's for drug sales. Call them the screwy rabbit. Okay, and the bottom line is they got that bent ear for a reason. Okay, the pitchforks up. Um, if the pitchfork is facing up, it promotes that gang. If the pitchfork is down, it's disrespect. When guys are doing hand signing, if those signs are below the waist, it's disrespecting that crew, and that could be a problem. I had two, um, two kids sitting in a room one time, and I was bringing a third one in, um, in my office. And I went to go in, and the third kid told me, I ain't going in there. Oh, no, I'm not going in there. I said, what, man, get in there. He said, man, Mr. Leonard, man, I'm not going in there, man. Well, I happened to look inside, and the one was going like this on his leg. And what he was doing was he was breaking bees. That's what they call it. And what he was saying is, if this kid steps into this arena, we're going to break him up. And that kid knew that. So these kids do hand signs. Anybody heard of the Masons? OK. Well, the Masons is a secret organization, or used to be. And they throw signs from different areas. They can speak one to another way across the room. Well, these gangs are doing the same thing. They're using hand signs and hand language, and they can speak way across the room. And they understand what's going on. So that's the stuff that we have to really be concerned with. Um, the clatter, remember the clatter ring, right? Most of the, the Irish people use the clatter ring. It has the heart and the wings. Well, those are symbols that they use, and, and they, it's uh, what they call their corazón. Corazón, what does that mean? Anybody speak Spanish? Heart. Of the heart, love of the heart. Okay, and most of the Latin kings will write um, amor de rey, which is the love of the okay. king. And they're not talking about King Henry VIII, okay? <laughs> they're talking about famous King Tom or King Blood, all right? So when you look at writings, and I would love if, if more school teachers and more parents could confiscate the notebooks of these kids 
And if you could get the manifestos, you will be surprised of the stuff that you would learn just from the manifestos. And the manifestos tell everything because those are the codes that they have to memorize. And these kids have to learn these codes because in the street, they get what we call G-checked. And a G-check means that a guy come up to you and you go, yo, what set you rolling with, bro? I see your New York sign, man. What set you rolling with? If that kid doesn't respond appropriately, he can get beat down. Because that's not the answer. That's not the right answer that they give. And that's part of the problem. So some of our kids are dressing like the wannabe gangsters. They're getting G-checked and they're getting beat up because they're not being able to answer it in, the, in right detail. So one of the things that we have to learn is to teach them not to dress like gang members. And I know that's hard because there's a culture out there, right? You know, if you look on some of the TV.